Hi, my name is Amethyst and let's get started with this video. Okay, so I'm, I already applied my moisturizer and I'm gonna be applying some primer on before I put the foundation on. Though you could like start applying like foundation if you want to, but I mean, this is just what I do. Woo, real time, unedited footage, people. Okay, so you let the primer sit on your face for a little bit. And if you just use moisturizer, you would let your moisturizer absorb into your skin in between applying the foundation. but rather lip balm I don't know why I like moisturizing my lips before I put like a matte lipstick on them because it's just nice to have them nice and hydrated so that you don't like have overly dried lips and then they end up peeling and that's even though it is cool to like peel off the skin sometimes it's really gross to do it in public so you gotta like make sure your lips are nice and moisturized <sighs> okay Marker eyeliner, well, marker liquid eyeliner, if that makes any sense. Pencil eyeliner. And I also have a, bl a black eyeshadow in this. So I could like set it. Layering is like key to longevity when it comes to like eyeliners IML. Setting spray. Woo, setting sprays. Fun. This is a dewy one. I mean, you could like use anyone, anything that you want that's like a setting spray. I personally like dewy because it makes my skin look, you know, dewy, fresh, whatever. Woo. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Now, usually you should find a foundation that best matches you, and right now I'm mixing a couple of foundations together so that I can get like a shade that matches close to my natural skin tone. So this will be fun. Do -do 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 -do. Like, I'm currently shaking this foundation because it's required in the instructions of it, so... Do 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 They're drumsticks! I don't know what they're doing with my life. Is that Okay. Now, I'm mixing the shades in this bowl that you can't see, but here you see it now. It's like a small little bowl that you would, you could put like a tea bag in, like, you know, like when you make tea and stuff. And then you like take the tea bag out of your cup and then you like put it in the thing so that you don't have a mess. 
or really strong tea. But me, I like my tea strong, so it's cool. But anyway, I'm putting foundation in this because it's nice. It's a contained area, and I don't like having to wash, like, wash, like, this section of hand for foundation because it's just, like, no matter what you do, like, right after, you can't really take it off. So it's like, ugh, uh, is this an emotion because it's all I can feel? So, woo. Putting some of the darker shade in to mix with the light. Because without the light, without the light, you can't have darkness. And without darkness, you really wouldn't know what a, you wouldn't be able to tell what exactly light is either. So, woo. Getting a brush. My foundation brush. Yay. Part of me kind of wants like, apply like white eyeliner eyeliner underneath my eyebrows so that I'll be able to like make the shape better right now so I'm gonna go grab it where the, where the hell did I put it found it I don't know if you guys can see like the white I'm applying but it's easier to see off camera if that makes this any sense gotta do this why is it so hard to like get the shape right okay Yay! Even though this eyebrow looks shorter than this one because reasons. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna apply the foundation. Woohoo! Foundation. Mixing it with my brush. Always make sure to like clean your brushes as soon as you can or you're available to oh my god i can't believe i forgot to put like one of the foundations up so here we go whoop okay i'm putting this on my lips for some reason it probably helps with like the lipsticks and stuff like so that it stays there longer and my natural lip color is like really pink in general and if I put on like a different shade it ends up like messing up with the color that I want sometimes so woo just putting foundation on now before you like put any like powdery stuff on you should probably apply all your liquids on before you set it with powder and then like and then you apply your powdery stuff if that makes any sense I don't know if I'm making sense to any of you guys but you know what I mean you really shouldn't apply like liquids on top of powders or powders on top of what I mean you shouldn't put liquids on top of powders because the, pow the job of the powder is to set it. Like, if I had, like, a liquid highlighter right now, I'd, I'd also, like, put it on or, like, a cream blush. But I don't really have that right now. Yay. We're almost at 10 minutes right now. You could also like apply like concealer and stuff like before foundation 
which if I had a concealer, I would. But I don't, not at the top of my head or hand, I guess. I don't have a concealer. Woo. Okay. This is good for a moment. I need to probably grab my purse. Because I have a lipstick in there. more pastel not my hair my purse okay oh yeah so this is a blush that I got at Sephora for my birthday that was in October and it came with this like matchy little lipstick so it's like yay matchy 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 matchy's a good time Okay, so foundation is on. Now we set that with powder because I have all my liquids and stuff, liquid products applied already. So, woo. I'm gonna wash this later off camera, FYI. Now to apply some powder. like about this powder is that it is long lasting but it does like make everything matte whether you want it to be or not and the best way to like make a matte like dewy is if you use a setting spray that's dewy yay powder so powdery Berry powder. Woo. Woo. cool the fact that my hair matches that towel over there you know which one it's just like it's so matchy matchy match Woo. okay so powder is applied then I like to apply my blush underneath my highlighter as well as underneath my bronzer that I use for contouring. So let me get my blush brush and my blush. Look, it's so cool. It's called pate. Well, party, but it's like potty or something like that. It's like somebody is trying to say with a Boston accent, like, let's go to the corner and get some chowder. Maybe get it with some hot apple cider. Oh God, people from Boston. I've been there a couple of times. I've spent like a few summers there. Oh my gosh, I love Boston a lot. It's pretty fun. Woo. 
Now, I'm making like a sucky face right now because it, it's easier for me to find my cheekbones if I make a sucky face rather than smile like this. Because if I smile like this, this feels fake as fuck. It's just like, yeah? Yeah, sweetie? How'd you do today? Really? But internally, this, like, showcases how salty I am, like, 90% of the time. So, it's like, eh, eh. <laughs> Don't leave me in front of, like, a camera or else I end up making really stupid faces. Like, <laughs> so it's just like, woo. Trying to make sure everything is A-OK -okay, or peachy cane lemon squeeze with just a hint of tangerine. Woo. Also, the Renaissance Fair is happening this weekend where I live, so it's like, do I really want to go spend money and walk around and hang around people that are dressed up really nice and I look like a potato? <laughs> And I don't even have like a proper costume unless you can't the one like bell outfit that I had when I went to high school my senior year. So it's just like, do I do that or do I do this? Life is full of choices. <laughs> and sometimes the choices are, do I stay home and go to the Renaissance Fair or do I be a good person and say, hey, maybe you shouldn't make fun of them or hey, maybe we shouldn't discuss politics right now because they make people uncomfortable? <laughs> I did that yesterday and my mom got so mad at me <laughs> because it was at her work. I really shouldn't have done that at her work, but I was up to here because I had that person for one of my classes at school and I had dealt with his bullshit for like a semester so it's like I am not getting paid so I can call that person out on their bullshit and the thing is my mom is a boss there so it's like uh, so she got mad at me for that but then like later she's like you know what I'm kind of glad that you did tell him off because because nobody else had I'm just like, yeah, telling people off. Kind of fun, kind of not fun, but really, I just was done, and I called him out, which is something I kind of wanted to do when I had a class with him, but I didn't. So, it's never too late to live your dreams. Also, I'm wetting, like, this eyeshadow that I'm using as my eyebrow darkener shade I think I'm gonna need like a q-tip or something that like fix this bit but fuck oh my god I fucked up so bad like there's like a little triangle here so it's just like walls okay so just gonna dub dub Dub, dab on the dab on the haters. <laughs> Do they actually dab? Oh God. Okay. Okay. So, just like trace like the shape that you would think suits you, or what you already have. Or something that you already have but is a bit more refined. Woo. I can't believe I actually dabbed. I've always wanted to dab like on a makeup video but I hadn't. So. Woo. You're lucky this is live and that I didn't edit it because I would put like a bunch of like horns there. <laughs> Just 
just be like, MLG. Oh, God. Okay. And now you can't tell that I pluck the hair here sometimes unintentionally. Yay! Now the other side. On yay! Okay, so... Goal here is to try to keep things as similar as you can. So, yay. Now you could like use like something that matches your hair color. Like I could have used like a pink if I wanted to, but I decided against it. So this is fun. And I should have been doing this earlier, but I wanted to sleep. Because yesterday I had to wake up early to go to the DMV, which is why I didn't do two videos today, yesterday. So that was not as fun. But then I got to hold Julia in my lap, which never really happened. So that was a good compromise because out of like all the good things that happened this year, including Jacksepticeye loving one of my comments that I made on a video about like my gender identity, it was pretty fun. I mean, it was pretty good. Like, like having a cat, like having my cat on my lap is probably the best feeling that I've had because it's like somebody is close to me and actually loves me and won't abandon me. Unlike people do. Woo, that got heavy really fast. Not like my eyebrow, but like, just generally it's like a topic that got really sad. And people don't like talking about sad things. Because sad things are sad. Done. I'm gonna go put on my eyebrow, my eye liner pencil on net next and do like some mini wings. I don't know what type of music you guys have been listening to lately, but I've been listening, well, re-listening to a lot of, I've been re-listening to a lot of My Chemical Romance, so it's like, woo, welcome to the Black Parade. I didn't really listen to them, like, as much as I, as much, like, when everybody else was listening to them when I was in like what, eighth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, because I was too busy being a weeaboo. Well, not a weeaboo, but some, but I was too busy listening to J-pop and everything's okay, people. 
something fell, it's not big, we'll be fine. Okay, so going to contour with an eyeshadow. Yay, contouring is fun. Time to make sucky faces again. Sucky faces. Now to do the chin and jaw. I don't know why, I feel like my face is too fat. So it's like, ew. And then I have like a weird jaw shape that I actually should have gotten jaw surgery for. So it's like, ew. Ew, someday I'll have enough money to like get jaw surgery and I'll be able to fix this mess. But right now, I am broke as fuck because I graduated college and it's just like, uh, and I mean, I'm really lucky that I didn't like have to like get student loans or anything. So I'm really fortunate in that regard. But at the same time, that doesn't change the fact that I am broke. I'm unemployed. So it's like, woo, this is the only thing right now that I am doing. So woo. Don't know if anybody's here or not, but just want to say thank you for continuing to watch this. If you're at this point, go get yourself a cookie because you deserve it. Treat yourself. That was like the only episode of Parks and Rec that I watched. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I had like a blank space here that was driving me bonkers. And I was like, I have to write my name. Next, the liquid one. And now, to gently Focus on this. Make sure everything is okay. And I mean, I really like video games. It's just that my Mac couldn't really support me doing it. So that sucked. And if I get enough money, I'll eventually build a computer for it because that's really what I want to do but at the same time I just really want to like make videos and talk to you guys And maybe eventually I'll complete How to Full Boyfriend, which would be nice.
close to matching. Yay. Wings. I'm going to take these wings and like fly somewhere, anywhere. Now I'm going to set them with a black eyeshadow. Or a dark gray. You can always use a dark gray for this too. Especially if you want to like make more of like a smoky effect. Which I do admit is pretty cool looking. Now if you really want to last you could like use like eye drops to like make the to wet the eyeshadow. Make it last longer. Like or to make the shade more vibrant. Some people use water. I mean, I find it that it tends to last longer if you use if you use like eye drops. But that's just my two cents. Now this is so dark, but it's like really cool to look at and it'll tend to last longer. Like when it comes to like making your makeup last long, especially when it comes to like eyeliner, layering helps a lot. I wonder what dinged. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but something just dinged. It's probably my mom's iPad. Because she gets messages and stuff, and she usually reads them on her phone while she's at work. Because they're usually work-related text. Yes, Valerie? Do you want to say hi to the camera? Well, you heard Valerie say hi to you people. Yes, baby? Do, 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 do. I'm gonna get a couple of q-tips and like use some grays just to like make it a bit more just to make it like some, add like some smokiness to it which will be nice I haven't applied a highlighter yet because I should have used like a business card or something to like keep like the fallout from happening with the eyeshadow. One downside about using like dry eyeshadow is that fallout happens. And no, I'm not talking like the about the video game franchise by Bethesda. By the way, there is a Bethesda Ohio, but that's besides the point. But like fallout happens whenever you like use like a powdery thing and that's why some people put on their eye makeup before they do foundation which I applaud them for because that is really fucking smart and I am a potato repeat I am a potato we are a cult of potatoes <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying
Yes, Valerie? Okay, she's eating her food. That's good. So that means I'm going to have to refill her food bowl, which will be fun. Maybe I'll take you guys along. Who knows? Almost done. Yay. Done the eyes. Now to focus on highlighter. Now I'm gonna use two highlighters. This one is a gold and it's a powder gold. So it's like, it's really fun to use. You might know what it is. And it's the same brand of the foundation that I used in the thing. But honestly, as long as it's like a gold, you could use it even if it's like a gold eyeshadow. But this is really good. Like, I couldn't recommend this enough. Thank you. Thank you, beauty companies, for making me, for giving me the chance to put fucking gold on my face and feeling like some goddess, some sun goddess of, like, yesteryear or sun deity. Worship me. Worship me, bitches. I don't know what I'm doing. But it's like... Ooh, gold. Okay, I'm using Fenty Beauty. This is Trophy Wife. Not sponsored, by the way. And I, like, got this for my birthday. So it's like, shoddy, it's your birthday. Go get some Fenty. Oh my god, my forehead is so shiny. And this is probably pretty easy to blend, but it is a bit, it's easy to blend, but it's also easy to like, get a bit too carried away with the Fenty Trophy Wife, and it's just like, it's so pretty. So pretty. It's really pretty. So pretty. Ooh, gold. It's really gold. I'm gonna apply some highlighter to my neck because I feel like it. Woo. Next to apply a lighter highlighter that's like a rose pinkish thing. It's like a rose gold pinkish thing. But that's not the name of it. It's called Translucent Pearl. And it's by Physicians Formula. I'm not sponsored, by the way. Okay. Woo. I'm just, like, putting, like, a bit on where you'd expect there to be more light. And this is, like, more of, like, a strobe light effect. Not like, like, you know when you like get like those f photographs and that of like when you do stuff outside and then you see like the sun and then it's just like really bright. It's like a ray of light or a light beam. You know what I'm talking about, right? But yeah, that's like what I'm doing, but with this. So it's like emphasizing the high points. Even more so. Okay, it's a little, it might be a bit much, but. Meh. Let's see how natural it looks if I turn off the light. <laughs> it's dark as fuck. That was a dumb idea. I 
it's so shiny. So shiny. Next, I'm going to apply my lipstick. And I'm going to get something to, like, blot it with. I'm using, like, some toilet paper that is unused, by the way. Don't use used toilet paper on your face. That's gross. That's gross and I'm kink shaming. <laughs> okay. So, here we go. Just a bit. This, like, this is a nude. If people, like, say send nudes, you should send them, like, a shit ton of lipsticks. Or brown eyeshadows. And tell them to fuck off. Unless you really like them. Then tell them to buy you nudes. And then maybe you'll send some. I don't know, I'm not your mom. Or a relationship guru. That's Valerie again. She's a good girl. Now to blot. Which gets rid of the excess. Also, when you're doing makeup, make sure your hair is out of your face. Because that helps. And there are, like, there are like many different ways you could like do stuff. Like this isn't the only way, but this is like how I've been doing my makeup lately, so. Woo! It's so shiny. Just gonna wait for the setting spray to like dry a bit and I'm going to put my makeup up or start to anyway so how have you guys been today I've been okay but I could have been a lot worse or a lot better if that makes any sense so today has been average utensils is really cool and I'm using a wipe that kills bacteria and stuff so that's fun it's not a septic it's not a septicide it's something cool 
It's an antibacterial. Also, honey is antibacterial. It's not a, it's not antiseptic, like, according to, like, my mom. And I had to, like, fact check her on that, so that was funny. Being right. And that's something, and it's like, oh, wow, I got to correct my mom, but I never did, because she'd be so pissed if I was like, well, you see. I'm actually wrong about that, so... Okay, so all my, all the setting spray has like dried off my face right now, so I'm going to like brush my hair. So yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, thank you so much. And if you're already subscribed, ring that bell for me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.